Although it's rare that two people ever get through a video game the same way, especially these days when there's often an overwhelming emphasis on player choice, a lot of people will stick to familiar playstyles and rely on habits that result in titles being played similarly. While this familiarity makes picking up new releases intuitive, it can lead to some big titles being tackled in a fashion that undermines their best elements. Of course, there's no true way to approach a game totally wrong. I mean, if you want to be a madman and complete Dark Souls with a Guitar Hero controller, then I goddamn respect that decision. Some of the most popular titles from over the years have had their potential squandered by fans, myself included, not playing to the game's strengths. I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com, and these are seven popular video games you're playing wrong. Number seven, The Last of Us. Don't use listen mode. Although The Last of Us is renowned for its world-class story, its gameplay rarely receives the attention it deserves for blending regular third-person action tropes with classic survival horror mechanics. However, what breaks the immersion somewhat is the ability for Joel to listen to enemies, essentially highlighting them through walls so you can plan your route through levels. Although it's a stable feature in action games now, The Last of Us is far more suspenseful if you don't rely on this slightly overpowered mechanic and actually scout out levels and use your own hearing to pinpoint enemies. In fact, the game turns off this feature automatically when you're playing on higher difficulties. When you're scrambling to find some ammo, it only makes things even more unpredictable when you don't know for sure if there's a clicker waiting for you around the corner and have to rely on your own instincts to figure it out. Number 6. XCOM 2 – Use Iron Man to Prevent Save Scumming In a tactical game like XCOM 2, one wrong move, one botched attack, or one risky decision can result in you losing progress and being trapped in a match that's most likely unwinnable, a reality a chunk of players bypass by save scumming. Saving after every move means a fatal mistake can easily be undone by loading up the file before you executed the error, allowing you to hopefully recover any of the progress you may have botched. Fortunately, to alleviate the temptation of scumming your way to victory, the second game has an Iron Man mode that removes the option entirely, saving your progress automatically on a single file and not allowing you to load before a disastrous move. Obviously, this style of play isn't exactly the most accessible or for everyone, and losing your squad after hours and hours of play can be devastating, but if you've got the time and inclination, it makes the whole experience so much more intense. Number 5. Uncharted – Turn the Difficulty Down Taking inspiration from the likes of Indiana Jones, Nathan Drake's globe-trotting adventures have been full of the high-flying spectacle you'd expect to see in the best action movies, but the series' spectacular combat has always been hindered by its difficulty. Because while you can jump out of cover, bring your thunderous fist down on a guy, grab his weapon in midair, and shoot someone behind you all in one swift motion, there's a good chance you'll be riddled with bullets along the way. Although there are occasions when you can pull off these exhilarating stunts, they never feel as smooth as they should. Because even on normal difficulty, Naughty Dog encourages you to play uncharted games like regular cover shooters. You can certainly still have fun on higher difficulties, it's not impossible, it's just annoying. But if you want to be the balls to the wall action hero Nathan Drake is shown to be in the cutscenes and not spend all your time hugging walls, it's best to knock it down to easy. Number 4. Fallout New Vegas – Play it in Hardcore Mode Although it doesn't change too much from a mechanical perspective, turning on New Vegas' Hardcore Mode transforms Obsidian's title into a full-on survival game, where you have to eat, drink, and sleep if you want to keep it full strength and make it through the wasteland unscathed. While these major additions change the way you approach the world, it's actually other, subtler ones that make the experience so interesting. For instance, the inability to heal your broken bones unless you visit a doctor or have a doctor's bag on hand completely alters your approach to firefights. Scraping through an ambush against the odds but receiving two broken legs for your troubles only to have to stumble back to a town, good on your hip and hoping that nobody comes around the corner can be thrilling. And yeah, waddling about with all your limbs about to fall off might not sound all that fun at first, but trust me, it makes New Vegas even better. Number three. Wolfenstein 2, play it stealthily. 
Wolfenstein 2 caused controversy when it released in 2017, not because of its brazen Nazi punching marketing, but because critics and fans complained that the gameplay itself was unfairly difficult. And they weren't wrong either, despite constantly being shown to dual wield shotguns and tear through Nazis like they're made out of paper, BJ Blazkowicz is actually ridiculously fragile in game, and you have to be extremely cautious if you don't want to be constantly restarting sections. And yeah, while you can turn down the difficulty and play the game like it's Doom, it's actually far more rewarding if you adopt a stealthier approach. It might seem counterintuitive to treat Wolfenstein like it's Metal Gear Solid, but the layout of the maps and BJ's range of abilities actually make more sense if you ghost the missions. Each level offers a myriad of different ways to be tackled, and are designed in a way that benefits a more cautious and tactical approach. Experimenting with different routes and weapons as enemies evolve to match your habits, nope, there's no relying on silence pistol headshots here, shows off the complexity of the mechanics and the level design. Number 2. Prey. It's not a first-person shooter. Taking inspiration from survival horror games, resources are scarce in Bethesda's Prey reboot, meaning that you have to improvise to complete objectives. Consequently, players who blast through it like any other first-person shooter will no doubt get frustrated by the lack of ammo and powerful enemies that can tear you apart in seconds. There's always at least five ways to solve a problem though, and with a bit of ingenuity you can progress even if you don't have what you think you need. Maybe there's a boss blocking the way to the next story beat and you don't have the bullets to kill it. Yeah, you could throw a shotgun at the problem and try your luck, or you could fashion an impromptu staircase with the glue gun and sneak over it, transform into a Mogan roll past, or hack into a computer and find an entirely different route to where you need to be. It's all far more satisfying than the shooting anyway. Number 1. Metal Gear Solid 5. Don't restart when you're caught. Getting through stealth games without being seen is one of gaming's truly purest pleasures, second only to maybe climbing to the highest point in an open world map and throwing yourself off to certain doom anyway. However, while it's still satisfying to try and ghost your way through Metal Gear Solid 5, the game actually becomes much more interesting once you're found out. Having your cover blown and improvising on the spot can lead to some unpredictable but hugely enjoyable combat encounters, as you use everything in your arsenal to get out of a sticky situation. Is that inflatable version of Big Boss you never use gathering dust in your inventory? Well, now it can be used as the perfect distraction for you to slip away while you're behind cover. Never have any good opportunities to use your remote controlled fist? Why not use it to chain knockouts on the five guys following you? The problem with MGS5's gameplay is that while it gives you a ridiculous amount of gadgets and weapons to mess around with, if you're going for a total stealth approach, you'll probably stick to the same tactics for the majority of the game. Not restarting when you're seen, however, means you have to switch things up, opening up brand new playstyles in the process.